Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today we're going to make Princess Leia. So the colours we're going to need are brown and skin tone, white and black. We're also going to need two of the black mini pony beads. So let's get started. We're going to have a single loom. It's going to be in a standard configuration. All columns are going to be the same height to start with. The arrow is facing towards us. If you don't have an arrow, it's the open part of the peg that faces towards us. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them on the peg as if they were a single band. We're going to be starting with her arm and we will start by doing two bands from the bottom of your loom. You're going to count one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do across from there to there. And then across from there to there. Then we're going to work down our loom like this. And then the next ones going to the middle here. Make sure you push your bands down like this. Now we're going to need a single band as a crossover. Take it, figure eight, loop it on itself and it's going from there to there and another one above it from there to there. We're going to take a single flesh tone band and wrap it around your hook twice and slide that onto two flesh tone bands. Reclaim the end of your bands and this is going to just pop here and that is her hand or it will be. We're going to loom this up so dig down and find the top two bands, hold that hand in place so that it doesn't move and we'll loom that up. Then we're going to do the next top two and, oops, something stuck there, loom those up. And then lastly but not least, these this side. What is going on? There we are. And loom them up. Push the crossover bands back to expose these bands and loom up. And now we loom these side ones, one and two. Now these are going to sit on a holding hook until we're ready to add arms. So this is the first one, take it off, and there, there you have it, that's the first arm, and we're going to do another one. One, two, three, four, five. And we place two bands here and two bands here. to the middle here and now we do our hand so take a single band in flesh tone wrap it twice and slide on to two flesh tone reclaim the end and add that here so we've added our hand, now we need to do crossover bands, 
single band, stretch it out, figure eight, looped on itself, and another one, figure eight, looped on itself, and now we can loom up. Take the top two bands and loom across. The next two bands, oops, that's three. It's still three, whoa. we go and the bottom two dig down find those bottom two bands push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook and just grab the two bottom bands And that will go on our holding hook as well. Like that. All right, we'll put that to one side. We're going to change the configuration of our loom. Pop the middle column out and raise it so that it is one space taller than columns one and three. So you're now in the offset configuration. We're going to double band and we'll start with our brown and place them on the loom. and then flesh tone I'm going to use three white bands for her neck Now we will use a flesh tone band and twist it one, uh, twice and three times and place here. This will stop the eyes from sinking to the back of the head. Then taking another flesh tone band, we're going to stretch that out into a triangular shape here. Now we're going to do our eyes. Using my 2.75 hook, I'm going to place my mini pony beads on here and thread them onto a single flesh tone band. Now you can use beads of a different sort, you can use bands, um, but slide them onto a single band and place them here on the head. Spread them out and then you're going to take the top part of that band with the beads on it and raise it so it's above this peg here. So this almost looks like um, a crossover band. Next we're going to do her buns. Take four brown bands and place your hook through them like that. Twist once so that they're looped on themselves. We're going to take another four brown bands, place them on the end of our hook and slide the first four onto it. Take your hook out and we're going to splay these out so we have two top and two bottom for each. Now you're going to need a pencil, another hook, a toothpick, whatever to hold one side while you work on the other. So we're going to be holding our bun like this. We're going to take the bottom two bands and lift them up, over and off our hook and the same on the other side, up, over and off. Now this is going to be placed either side of her head. One side is going to be where her eyes are. The other side is going to be down here by her jaw, like that. 
Let's do the other side. Four brown bands. Place through your hook. Wrap once. Four brown bands. Slide those on. Take your hook out and split these into two. And it doesn't matter, they don't have to marry up, they don't have to be the same bands on either side. Okay, so we have them like this. Take the two at the bottom, up, over and off. And the two at the bottom, up, over and off. Now we're going to place those on her head. One this side and the other oops, this side. There we go. So using white bands and double bands we're going to form her torso. And you're going to come down with the white bands four times. So once, twice, three times, and four times. And let's do that the other side as well. Once, twice, three times. and four times and down the middle as well oops gosh I've got dropsy today there we go Going to use skin tone for her feet or her legs, I should say. One pair, two pair, three pair, four pair. Two, three, and four, and then for her feet we're going to do white shoes. So take two white bands and wrap them once and twice, and they will go on to two white bands, like that. Reclaim the end of your bands, and we'll do the same wrap some white bands on your hook, wrap them once and twice and they're going to go on to two flesh tone bands. And then we're going to slide the ones we made first, the first two bands, onto those flesh tone bands like that. And then we're going to swap places. So take the first flesh tone off your hook and replace it with the other side of those bands and slide those ones on and then reclaim. So this is her little boot or shoe. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. Two white bands, wrap once and twice. Slide onto two white bands. Reclaim the end of your bands. And let's do again, two white bands, wrap once and twice. And if you remember, we slide onto two flesh bands. Move these white onto the flesh. Swap sides with your flesh tone band. And then move those white onto it. Reclaim the end of your flesh tone bands. Angle the foot the other way. And that pops on just here. 
let's do some crossover bands. We'll take a single flesh tone band and stretch it across from here to here in a triangle shape. Lift this part up and pop it over the top of that peg. Then we're going to do white flesh tone. Stretch it out, figure eight, loop it on itself and place in a triangle shape. And one more time. And again. And this last one, you do not loop it. You just pop it on like that. Okay, we're ready to place her arms. So taking one set of arms, you're going to place those on this shoulder peg right here and on the other side. And stretch them out so you make sure that you get all the bands and sometimes it's easier if you go down through the, the crook of one, you know, the little this little uh, jaggedy point here to catch them like that. We're ready to loom her up. So dig down find the two bottom bands and loom up. Push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook and loom up to the arms. Push the foot back, grab the bottom bands Loom the centre. Dig down, find the bottom two white bands and loom them through to the throat. And the same on the other side. And then loom up to the throat. And now we're going to loom the neck. So dig down, we need to find those three white bands and loom up. Next we're going to take the top two skin coloured bands and loom across on both sides. Loom the middle one up. We're going to take her bun off. Hold it out to one side. Dig down, find the two skin tone bands and loom those up and then place her bun bands back. Then dig down and find the two brown bands and loom up. Same on this side, we're going to take the bun off, hold it out to the side, dig down and find the two skin tone bands and loom up. Replace the bun and then Find your brown bands and loom up, and loom up, and loom up. We are going to need to find two brown bands to tie this off with. Dig your hook down the middle of this peg and put the brown bands on. Pull them up and to the back of this peg, then take the ones closest to you up over and off and pull tight. We're ready to take her off the loom. So there she is. We're going to hide these loops at the back of her head here under some of these bands. Okay, 
now we just have to make her skirt so let's do that I'm going to use the monster tail and all we're needing is a few white bands and a few black bands so starting with our white bands we're going to do a figure eight on the bottom and if you don't have a monster tail I have a tutorial on how to do this on the single loom uh, on my YouTube channel. So put the band on the peg and give it a twist so that it's like a figure eight or an infinity loop if that's what you like to call it. And we are going to need 16 rows. This is row number one or layer number one. Oh, come on. Being a fumble fingers here. So that's row number one. Now for rows, all the rows after this actually, all you're going to do is place them on like this. No more twisting. Make sure you push it all down. And then our third row. Now we are going to use our hook and we're going to loom up the two bottom bands. You're going to lift them up and over the top and keep pushing everything down. Bottom two bands. And push everything down. Then we're doing row number four. Again, just place the bands on the pegs. Push everything down and loop the bottom two up and over. Now we have to, whoops, sorry, we have to do 16 of these as I mentioned. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause the video and you pause the video and we will catch each other up again at number 16. Well I'm back and hopefully you are too. Um, I'm at number 16 and for my 16th row I've actually put black bands to act as like a, a black ring around her skirt. So I'm going to dig down and get the bottom two white bands and loop them over. Oops, that's one too many. And now I have four bands left on my pegs, two white, two black. I'm going to lift the next set of white over. Like that. I'm going to collect all of these black bands on my hook and 
like that. And I'm going to get two black bands and tie them together. Oh, I chopped all my nails off today. And now I can't, I can't function. <laughs> all right. So let's slide these loops of black onto the two black bands that I just tied together. Now remember, only one band should be at the end of the hook collecting everything. So if you've got two, it's a sneaky one trying to pretend that he's an important band and he's not. Okay, I'm going to pull this a bit through and I'm going to reclaim the end of my black band. I'm going to take one over the other and then hold this one in my hand like this. I'm going to take both of these like this so my hook is under this one and I'm going to tie a knot. Okay like that. And now I'm going to get my spoon and slide my skirt over the spoon. I'm going to try and make sure that all of these are not tangled. I can see those ones are on top of each other and they shouldn't be. So spread them out nicely. I'm going to get my princess and stuff her feet inside the skirt and slide her down the spoon like that. As I move the spoon out, her feet will pop out the end here. There's one, there's the other, there's the other. Okay, now in order for her to stand up, her feet actually need to be stuffed up the skirt, and, and that's fine. Okay, now she has a tiny little gun in her hand, and that is a very simple little gun. It is detachable, so you're not going to get in trouble for being uh, for your toy having a gun on it. You're going to take single bands, figure stretch them, and figure eight, and this is how we're going to work. So they're double looped. Okay, so to start off, we're going to wrap it once, twice, three times, and four times single band, stretch it on itself and reclaim like that. Let's do that again. So you're making these bands half the length that they normally are which just makes things shorter and tighter. So that's going to be this is going to be the um, handle of the gun. Okay. So we'll do it one more time. And then we're going to get another one. Wrap it once and twice like that. And we're going to slide that onto another pair. And this is kind of like how we do the shoes, if you remember. Take the handle part and move the first two up and over onto that new band that we just made. Now this is going to get tricky and you might want another hook to help you. You want to basically swap sides. You want this band in your hand and this side here on the hook. So I'm going to, I would suggest using, if you don't have a fine um, hook, try getting a toothpick or something. I put that side on a hook and I'm swapping sides like that okay and I'm going to lift this these two bands this side up over and off like that and then put all of these bands on the one that's the bit that gives you the ability to rotate okay stretch and again we're just doing a chain try and stretch them out a bit so that they don't become um, 
uneven you don't want them to be uneven see that one I could tell was uneven now this side one side wants to be longer than the other obviously the gun has different dimensions and I'm sure most of you are much better at making guns than I am I've never even held a gun <laughs> I've held a toy gun okay so our last band figure eight twist it on itself and instead we're going to tie this off so instead of just carrying on we're going to take the two that are nearest to us up over off and pull tight into a slip knot so you have this loop here okay now the loop you're going to get a fine hook and poke it through the inside of your gun oh my goodness there we go so grab that and pull it back so the band is hidden under one of these bands inside and you can't see it well you can see it very marginally but not much then what you're going to do is stretch out the end cap and fumble fingers here <laughs> Stretch out the end cap and pop the gun in like that. And she's kind of waving it around a bit gung ho. <laughs> Maybe I needed to put it the other way. Let's try that. I told you I had no idea about guns. <laughs> Maybe that looks it. Oh, nope, she's shooting herself, twisting it around. <laughs> there we go, kind of, sort of. There is Princess Leia with a gun, and please point that thing in the right direction. Have fun making her.